Hello, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, we're going to pop into your universe in 24 hours. I was going to do Libra. Actually, I was doing Libra and the Libra reading got um, interrupted like a little too quickly in the reading. So I figured it would be better to, or I decided, honey. <laughs> It'd be better just do Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Just see what messages come out. See if it's if it's like the same thing. Um, that that may be significant here. You finding out ways to kind of like um amplify your um craft or strengthen yourself this next twenty four to forty eight hours. I do not feel like you're going to be resting much. <laughs> what in the world? I do feel like you're not going to be resting much. I don't know who energy to see is honey, but it's definitely giving like next twenty four to forty eight hours. Um, I feel like it's, so. Uh, I feel like if anybody from your past has been doing any type of like love magic or love spells on you, I feel like if you've been going through that situation with your boo or with your person, like I really feel like the next 24 to 48 hours, that's, that's going to seem like a distant memory. Oh my. Uh, I feel like that's going to be a distant memory. I feel like spell work is preventing somebody from moving or relocate, relocating. I also feel like spell work is preventing somebody from uh, their investments growing. This could be your own personal assets, your own per yep, personal income, job loss, like um, loss of contract. Like I feel like there's um, people who've been harvesting not just your feminine energy, but I feel like your masculine energy too. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman watching this because I feel the energy of somebody like you get things done, but like lately it seems like, I don't know, I feel like someone here like, like lately every time you try to get something done or handle something, I feel like it seems like it's all this chaos coming in a strive for people like, oh, let's hang out here. Let's hang out there. Yeah. Page of Pentacles, protect your children. I feel like you're amplifying the protection work around children and or your younger self more. I feel like the more that you're protecting not only children, if you have them, but also your inner child and younger self, I feel like the more you're seeing manifestations come from the past. This could be something that, I don't know, I feel the energy of somebody here like this could be something that you were wanting when you were nine. And you know, like life and trauma or just life because not everybody is running around with trauma or at least not everybody is honest about it. All these things happen and it's like you kind of like lose sight of what it is that you originally wanted or originally desired. So I, I do see like this next 24 to 48 hours, like those desires coming to the front to be like, hey, Jamali Roquarius, remember me? Like we wanted to do this. <laughs> we wanted to do that. If that's not the case, this page of Pentacles could just be you're running off with an idea and it's very lucrative. It's very continuous. It's very exciting. It's very fresh. It may require a lot of communication. Maybe some of you guys have I've been talking, balancing your throat chakra, activating. Feels like the next 24 to 48 hours is going to be very busy for you. Um, a lot of busy work. That is something I talk about in my readings a lot. But I am not going to neglect the fact that I see the lovers and the eight of wands coming out in the reverse. So I do also feel like this next 24 hours is about the fact that there is some part of your daily routine that keeps um, other people's decisions, I feel like, keep getting in the way of somebody's daily routine. And sometimes that can make it a little harder to see those events progressing quickly. It can make it a little harder to shift realities or shift timelines. Maybe some of you guys are quantum leaping today into your best timeline. And, um, it, or maybe you've been trying to do this and been dealing with this five of wands energy, this strife. It's just like, no, I want to fight you. No, I want to fight you. No, I want to fight you. Like, it just feels like a lot of pettiness. I'm seeing 444 on a clock as I'm seeing the world and the King of Cups coming out in the reverse. Okay. I feel like somebody here is just, the love is very, is a very private um path for you right now. So not sure if that path is just 24 hours, 48, four to eight years, but here with the Six of Pentacles and the High Priestess and then seeing the moon again, I feel like there's just a lot of spell work on your family as a whole. I do feel the energy of like healthy, wealthy, abundant family. It's given like everybody. You know how those families, people have fam those families come about <clears throat> and like everybody talented. Everybody has a skill. 
But this feels like the energy of a family where, like, all y'all don't just have skills. Y'all I have a lot of talents and hidden abilities, gifts. It's like, it's, it feels like just investigative work, like psychics, seers, um, the moon. This could be practitioners. Maybe you do do spells. Um, this is a lot of research, like, just like a lot of heavy material. This feels like higher education, maybe higher learning, okay? Um, here with the Six of Pentacles, it's almost like something just wants you to be a little timid, maybe afraid. And you, like I do see your ancestors like swarming in with, with, um, <sighs> abundance sounds so cliche. Like I feel like someone here, you really just need clients. <laughs> Maybe if clients is a big part of your financial security. Um, if it's not clients, it could just be like here with the Six of Pentacles, just like it could just be somebody gifting you money that doesn't have malicious intent. Ah, maybe that's the thing. I feel like maybe a lot of people that help you financially don't even really want what's best for you. Like privately, they're just like, oh, well, we know Gemini, Libra, Aquarius ain't going to get it together. Or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is doing, you know, some silly childish things. Um, but when you're looking at the element of air, everything that we do is going to seem silly or childish, you guys, because not everybody is on the same wavelength as air signs. Uh, shout out to Virgos. I think Virgo and Sagittarius gets an honor honorary mention as well. Um, because it just seems like it's something like so far out about whatever it is that you have going on or what you want to manifest. And I say that because like, I feel like people aren't caught up to you. I feel like there's, I don't know, if someone does like a lot of heavy planetary work or spiritual work or energy work, I feel like you're on the timeline with possibly, you know how some people say like the new earth has to be rebuilt or something like that? So say like a lot of people in your circle are, you know, still, in, maybe they're still, let's let's give an example. Like say a lot of people in your circle are they're out or not circle this could even be people from your past this could be people that don't really think that highly of you um or people that are jealous envious of you so say like you you know everybody traveling but you in a crib creating content like your home like you you know researching like how do i you know start a business or like i'm going back to school or i'm studying or you know maybe you just you know, you're just in the house trying new recipes. You could be scrolling on the internet, watching. So it just feels like you're just really protective of your space and your energy. And I feel like a lot of people are downing you about that or dogging you about it. Or it could be people that are doing spell work against you. So you, um, so say like if you made a decision, we'll say this. I say you made a decision between you and God to like stay in the house, um, you know, for two months to really uh you know work on my goals or work on my vision board and then as soon as you get a free weekend right to do that here comes this motherfucker want to do this this that and the third and you're like wait a minute guys like i thought <laughs> we were supposed to be working on a vision board together this weekend what's going on like that's the moon like that's that spell work or that's those illusions that you need to be going to run to do this other thing that's not even really helping you um come out of some type of financial restriction or not even helping you write a better reality for yourself. I don't know. I've been writing again, y'all. So I guess that's why I said that. If it's if it's not writing, it's just speaking. Okay. I feel reading, a lot of reading. <laughs> Somebody's reading. Oh, I haven't done weekend messages. So I'm going to do this for weekend air signs. Um, I don't have time to do weekend messages, at least not right now, but I just feel the vibes here in Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So we're just going to do a pull for the weekend, honey, for the weekend. Let's just call all the elements in because it's my channel. I can do what I want. Okay, weekend message for air. <sighs> King of Cups in the reverse. I kind of feel like you just need to take a little break. Maybe you're a little moody. Maybe, boo, maybe your boo is a little moody, okay? Send your, send your big daddy or send your queen some loving, healing energy, whether you guys are right next to each other or um, spaces apart, okay? Send in that healing energy. I find that when you do that, this Knight of Wands is going it's, to, it's going to seem like somebody just magically just I am here and I'm ready for battle. I'm ready to fight for you. I'm being so dramatic. Okay. Air. Thank you. I know this is an air reading. Y'all don't judge me. 
<laughs> I know this is an air read, but we're going to do a weekend pool for Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So if you have Cancer Scorpio Pisces in your chart, then here goes some extra stuff for you. Weekend pool for Cancer Scorpio Pisces. <laughs> I, wow. Okay, here's the Scorpio Pisces. Weekend message for you. Eight of Swords in the reverse and Eight of Wands in the upright. It's almost as if like whatever self-sabotage cloak or whatever entrapment that someone is mentally having you in. It's almost as if you're like, oh my goodness, somebody somebody um took my brain out and washed it. And now all of a sudden, like, I want to do this. I want to do that. Like, I want my daily routine to consist of this. Or for some of you guys here, this could just be like, I, I don't want to do anything and I know things are just going to move for me very fast. 10, 10. This could be an abundance of uh, a sudden influx of cash for you guys with 10, 10. Uh, Knight of Cups, sudden influx of love. <laughs> okay, Cancer Scorpio Pisces is going to be exciting. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, what's going on for you this weekend? Do not disturb. I know that's right. Okay, honorary mention for Scorpio. Do not disturb. Honorary mention for Gemini. Ooh, I feel like somebody's stealing. I feel like somebody stole something from you. Or somebody's monitoring you. Somebody's watching you. A lot of eyes on you. I feel like a lot. It's just a lot of pressure. Um, it just feels like a lot of mental pressure. Yeah. So expect those downloads to come in. I feel like they're going to come in like crazy here with this Ace of Swords. And I really feel like this weekend is going to be like, listen, bad, bad, go away. You can't hex my life today. Like that's what the Seven of Swords <laughs> is giving. Um, la little luck, little luck. Okay. I feel like little luck, King of Pentacles. All right. We're just going to ignore the Ten of Swords because we banished the Black Magic Psychic Attacks and the Evil Forces, Unfortunate Events, and the mis the the Mystery. King of Pentacles. Um, I, there's something about your personal assets that's enhancing this weekend, okay? It's definitely... I feel like somebody here, you just... <laughs> I feel like somebody here, you're like, baby, listen... If, if just give me all the money, just send universe, send all the money to me and I'll hold on to it and figure out what to do with it in about three days or decide what to do with it in three days. <sighs> okay. Maybe some significant about the next three days too, even though I'm saying for the weekend, next three days towards the road, Capricorn. Okay. Call your energy back. I feel like you're calling, call your spells back, call your power back, your magic back. I also feel like calling your, um, Calling your quick um, ability to move in silence. I feel like a lot of people have been doing some very shady things off of your energy. And I feel like this weekend is really, um, I'm not going to say it's going to come to head, but with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, I do feel like somebody is going to hit get a little, it's going to be a, a little bit of a financial bump. It's almost as if like you're asking somebody for $20 and they're giving you 200. I don't know whatever this is, but like this weekend energy for you towards Virgo Capricorn definitely feels like somebody here. Like they know that they have drained you as much as they can drain you. And here with the sun coming out in the reverse, I just find that it's just going to be some things not really um, popping out for, for somebody else harmoniously. This feels like somebody... Honestly, this feels like people in your universe that could just be um, just attacking your money, just like sending you bad energy. This could be sending negative energy. This could be an ex. This could be people in your family that you cut off. This could be people in your family that you want to cut off. Um, I just feel a very heavy energy here of like somebody has been trying to like really stop you in your tracks continuously. And this weekend, it's like your spirit team is like, nah, 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 nah. Wait till I get my money, right? Well, your spirit team is not women. I don't know shit. They might be saying about themselves too. Maybe your spirit team needs you to get your money right so they get their money right. It's very concerning towards Virgo Capricorn. This could have totally been a collective reading, y'all, but I don't know. <laughs> Three of Cups in the Star. Baby, let let listen. Go and pop your shit this weekend, cause I feel like somebody here, like somebody's gonna want to collaborate with you, just because it seemed like energetically you own. And I feel like spirit is telling you there's a bigger payout when you shine by yourself. Peace.